Moments with Mark chapter 14, starting with verse 27. Here we are getting closer and closer to the crucifixion and the death and resurrection of Christ. It is in the last week of Jesus' life, and we pick it up at Mark chapter 14, verse 27. On the way, Jesus told them, All of you will desert me, for the scriptures say, God will strike the shepherd and the sheep will be scattered. But after I am raised from the dead, I will go ahead of you to Galilee and meet you there. Peter said to him, Even if everyone else deserts you, I never will. Here we see Peter, like other times before this, speaking up and speaking up in error, uh, needing to say something and defend himself and defend Christ. And so we find Peter saying, I'll never desert you. I'll never deny you. I'll never turn my back on you. Jesus replied, I tell you the truth, Peter. This very night before the rooster crows twice, you will deny three times that you even know me. You will disown me. You will deny me. And Peter, of course, is adamant that he will not deny his Lord, his rabbi, his master. Uh, yet we find and follow in the story that what Jesus says is true. Foreknowledge of Jesus doesn't mean that he causes these things to happen. Just because God knows things in advance doesn't mean he causes things to to happen. And so we have here Jesus knowing what Peter will do and that it is a sad and disappointing fact that Peter denies his Lord, but it is Peter's choice. He is the one speaking the words and Jesus foreknew that this would happen. Verse 31, no, Peter declared emphatically, even if I have to die with you, I will never deny you. And all the others vowed the same. So here we have Jesus' prediction of Peter's denial. Uh, Peter has been a changed man ever since Jesus came into his life. He was once a businessman, a fisherman. He was called by Jesus to follow Jesus. And Jesus uh, invited him to be a part of his disciples we might say apostles, the 12 apostles. Apostles, the word simply means sent ones. There were 12 apostles and uh, many disciples, even though sometimes we think of Peter and James and John as disciples. There were many disciples. All who follow Christ are disciples of his, students of his, learners of his. And so Peter, along with the other 11, were apostles, sent ones by Jesus. He mentored them. He invested his life into them for three years. He sought to invest in them so that when the Holy Spirit would fall upon them in Acts chapter 2, they would be change agents in our world. And so the gospel would be declared throughout the world in just a few generations and so we see this in the book of Acts, of course. And Peter, Peter, because of the Holy Spirit, becomes a great leader in the church. And even though he has his faults, and don't we all have our faults, uh, God uses him, which is a great testimony to God's patience and mercy and grace. Uh, even with all of our faults, God can use us to help in building his kingdom and doing his will here on earth. So Peter is denying his Lord three times in this chapter 14 as we proceed in this passage. But uh, these few verses, although short, uh, find many lessons for us in our walk with Christ. First of all, that there is always an opportunity for us to turn our backs on the Lord. And we must always be watchful. We must always be on guard. Paul says in 1 Corinthians 10, verse 13, that we need to watch ourselves lest we be tempted uh, to fall away to sin. And so we must keep a watch on our own hearts that we keep our spiritual life up to date. So that brings me to a question today, a question of personal application. 
How is your relationship with the Lord today? Not how was it back 10, 15, 20 years ago, but how is your relationship with the Lord today? Are you still keeping in tune with him? Is everything okay? Is everything up to date? Is your heart clean? Is your heart clear? Is your conscience clear? And may God bless you and thank you for listening to Moments with Mark.